A very good morning to all. Today we are going to learn a new topic in Max which is about increasing and decreasing order or ascending and descending order. So let's see what is increasing order. When you arrange numbers from the smallest to largest, we call it as increasing order or ascending order. When you arrange numbers from smallest to largest. Here you can see a picture. Imagine that you are standing on the first block. Okay, you are standing on the first block. And from the first block, you jumped to second block. And from the second block, you jumped to the third block. And from the third block, you jumped to the fourth block. And each time, you are jumping to a higher level. From the first block, you jumped to the second block. So number two is larger than one. And from the second block, you jumped to the third block. And number three is larger than number two. And from the third block, you jumped to the fourth block. That the number four is larger than three. So you are moving in which order? In increasing order. That is from the smallest to the largest. From the smallest block to the largest block. In an increasing order. From the smallest number one to the largest number four. So that is increasing order. When you arrange numbers from smallest to largest, we call it as increasing order. You can see this is a number line. Numbers from 0 to 10. You know which order is this? This is increasing order. From 0 to 10. 0 is smaller than 1. 1 is smaller than 2. 2 is smaller than 3. And it goes till number 10. It starts with the smaller number 0 and it ends with the larger number 10. So when we do forward counting, it is always in increasing order or ascending order. Let's arrange the numbers in increasing order. So you can see here three numbers, 6, 10 and 4. So 6 and 4 are one digit numbers. And what about 10? 10 is a two digit number. And we have learned that two digit numbers are always larger than one digit number. So which one is larger? Number 10. So we'll write number 10 here. Now, now let's see 6 and 4. In 6 and 4, which number is smaller? 6 or 4? So let's do the counting from 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 is there. So here 4 is here. So let's write 4. Then after 4, 5, 6. So this is the correct order. 4, 6, 10. 4 is the smaller number and 6 is the largest number. So 4, 6, 10 is in which order? It is in increasing order. Now let's see decreasing order. So what is decreasing order? When you arrange numbers from largest to smallest, we call it as decreasing order or descending order. You can see the picture here. Imagine you are standing on the fourth block. Where are you standing? You are standing on the fourth block. From the fourth block, you jump down to the third block. From the third block, you jump down to the second block. And from the second block, you jump down to the first block. So from the larger number, you have came down to the smaller number. In which order? In decreasing order. From the fourth block to the first block, you came down in a decreasing order. That is from the largest block to the smallest block. Number three is smaller than number four. Number two is smaller than number three. And number one is smaller than number two. So this is decreasing order. When you arrange numbers from largest to smallest, we call it as decreasing order or descending order. When we do backward counting, we always do in decreasing order. Here you can see numbers from 10. When we count numbers from 10, when we do backward counting, 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. It goes on till 1. And it is in decreasing order. It starts with the larger number 10 and ends with the smaller number 1. So that is decreasing order or descending order. Now let's arrange these numbers in decreasing order. So which are the numbers? 6, 10 and 4. So two numbers are one digit numbers and one number 10 is a two digit number. So we learned that two digit numbers are always larger than one digit number. So which one is the largest number? 10. So let's write 10 here. Now let's find 6 and 4. Which number is bigger? Let's do the backward counting from 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. So 6 is here. So let's write 6. Then 5, 4. So 4 is here. So this is the correct order. 10, 6, 4. It starts with the larger number 10 and ends with the smaller number 4. So this is decreasing order. When you arrange numbers from largest to smallest, it is called decreasing order or descending order. Now you can open your textbook and take page number 26. Decreasing order of numbers. Here you can see three bowls and in each bowl there are some marbles. So what you have to do is we will count the number of marbles in each bowl and we'll write in the box. So see the first bowl. How many marbles are there? One, two, three, four, five. So there are five marbles. So let's write five and see the next bowl. One, two, three, four. So there are four marbles. And see the last one. How many marbles are there? One, two, three. So there are three marbles. So five, four, three. So it is in which order? It is in decreasing order from the largest number to the smallest number. When we do backward counting, five, four, three. It is in decreasing order from the largest number to the smallest number. So now let's do the exercise. Let's see the first one. Here you have to arrange the numbers from largest to smallest. And one example is already done. Two, four, one, three. So these are the numbers and you have to arrange it in which order? In decreasing order. That is from the largest to the smallest. So when we do four backward counting, then five, four, three, two, one. So five, four. So four. Four is written here, then three, then two, and then one. So four, three, two, one. It is the correct order. Now let's do the second one. Seven, ten, nine, eight. So there is a two digit number. We all know that two digit numbers are always larger than one digit number. So which one is the largest number? Ten. So let's write ten here. Now let's see. 7, 9 and 8. Out of that, which one is larger? When we do the counting, 10, 9, 8. So 10, 9, 8. So 9 is there. So you can write 9. Then 8. Then 7. So the correct order is 10, 9, 8, 7. So let's look at this next question. 6, 8, 5, 3. So which one is the larger number? 8. When we count numbers, 10, 9, 8. Then 7. 7 is here? No. Then 6. 6 is here. Then 5. Then 4. 4 is not here. Then 3. So what is the right order? 8, 6, 5, 3. So this is in decreasing order from the largest to the smallest. Now let's see the next one. 12, 16, 11, 14. So we have to arrange in descending order or decreasing order. So which number comes first? Number 16. So 16 is the largest number. Then 16, 15, 
40. So 15 is here? No. Then 40. So 14 is here. So you can write 40. Then 13. 12. Number 12 is here. Then 11. So this is the right order. 16, 14, 12, 11. So now let's do the next one. 15, 20, 13, 17. What do you have to do? You have to arrange them in descending order or decreasing order. So you can do it now. Then we'll discuss the answer. So hope you have done. So what is the answer? Which order? It comes with which number? It starts with which number? 20. So 20. Then 17. Then 15. And then 13. So this is the right answer. 20, 17, 15 and 30. Next one, what is the answer? So which is the largest number? 14. It starts with 14. Then 13. Then 9. And then finally 7. So the order is 14, 13, 9 and 7. So we have learned about decreasing order. So decreasing order is when you arrange numbers from largest to smallest. Now we can take the next page, page number 27. That is increasing order of numbers. Here you can see three flowers. What you have to do is you have to count the number of petals in each flower. So let's see the first one. How many petals are there in the first flower? One, two, three, four. So there are four petals. So let's write here four. Next one. One, two, three, four, five. So there are five petals. See the third one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six petals. So this is in which order? In increasing order. Four, five, six. So now let's do the exercise. See the first one. Nine, ten, eleven, eight. You have to arrange them in increasing order. So the answer is already done. So the order is 8, 9, 10, 11. So when we do forward counting, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8, 9, 10, 11 in increasing order. So now let's do the second one. The numbers 7, 9, 10, 8. So we have one two digit number. So two digit numbers are always bigger than one digit number. So this 10 is bigger than the one digit number. So we can write 10. We can write 10 here. So now let's find which number is smaller. 7, 9, 8. So when we do the counting, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So number 7 is here. So let's write 7. Then after 7, 8. Then 8, 9. So it is in which order? Increasing order. 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have arranged the numbers from smallest to largest. Now let's see the next one. Which are the numbers? 12, 14, 17, 30. And you have to arrange in increasing order from smallest to largest. When we start counting from 10, 10, 11, 12. So 12 is here. So you can write number 12. 13. Then 14. Then 15, 16, 17. So number 17 is here. So 12, 13, 14, 17. So it is in increasing order. Now let's do the next one. See the numbers 5, 18, 11, 16. So you can arrange them. You can arrange them in increasing order. Start with the smallest number and end with the largest number. So you can do it now. So let's discuss the answers. So what is the answer? It starts with which number? Number 5. Then 
eleven. Then sixteen. Then eighteen. So five, eleven, sixteen, eighteen. So this is the correct order. Let's do the next one. Which are the numbers? Fourteen, twelve, nineteen, ten. So you have to arrange them in increasing order. So what is the correct order for the second one? It starts with ten, then twelve, fourteen, nineteen. So this is the right order. So let's do the next one. So you can do the next one. The numbers are six, nine, fifteen, thirty. So arrange them in increasing order. So what is the answer? It starts with which number? Six. Then nine. Then thirteen. Then fifteen. So the right order: six, nine, thirteen, fifteen. So in this chapter, we learnt about increasing order and decreasing order. When you arrange numbers from smallest to largest, it is called increasing order or ascending order. And when you arrange numbers from largest to smallest it is called decreasing order or descending order so i hope you have clear you are clear with increasing order and decreasing order so we'll meet in the next class with a new topic till then bye